Right. Okay, what about Isaiah 45? Yeah, me, I'm fine. I'm gone. All right, then be gone. All right, go, brother. Read, read. For we can do nothing against the truth. So the Bible says we can do nothing against the truth. Come on. But for the truth. But what? For the truth. You don't do something for the truth. You're not going to stop the word of the Most High. Right, give me Isaiah 40 and 7. You're not going to stop it. So now you white supremacists are running mad, killing soft targets. You won't go against no real black and Hispanic men. Right, you won't go against no real brothers that bring that heat to you. Right. You catching a you catching a black woman at a train station. Right. You catching you catching a black man using a bathroom. You so called white people are weak as hell. That's right. You, know, you want some supremacists? Go all out. Right, you you type the supremacy. So go all out. Right, but no. What are you doing? You start the, the beginning stages of the race war. Bring it out. The man. beginning stages of the real first purge. But guess what? Your ass gonna get purged, devil. Right. Because according to Obadiah, which we're gonna read on you later, you're gonna get wiped off the earth. Right. That's right. right. So you know what the so-called white man does? He turned everything that's destined for him, he tried to turn it on Israel. Right. No, your ass gonna get purged, man. That's that's right. Right. You gonna be the damn purge. You gonna be the ones getting purged. That's right. Because the Lord tell you, we gonna kindle in you, and it's not gonna be none of y'all left. That's right. So now you say, you know what? Since we going down, let's start killing these Negroes left and right. right. Let's catch a little black woman, little Nia Wilson, and kill her. Right. You a bunch yeah. of damn suckers, oh man. God. Right, good, brother Reed. Hey. Isaiah 40, verse 7. Come on. The grass withereth. The said the grass withereth. Come on. The flower faded. Go ahead. Because the spirit of Yahweh bloweth upon it. Come on. Surely the people is grass. Go ahead. The grass withereth. The flower faded. Come on. But the word of our power. But the word of the Lord. Come on. Shall stand forever. No, they're going to stop it. Shall stand forever. They're going to kill Nia Wilson, and that's going to stop the truth. Shall, Shall stand, stand forever. They're not going to stop the truth. The most I said, he going to raise up Israel, and that's exactly what's going on. Right. Give me Isaiah 49 and 5. You're not going to stop a damn thing. You think your little race you kill is going to scare somebody. You devils, when you check it out, when a race will jump off, you're going to be defeated. You're going to and I'm going to press on that Make because that's boy. the time we living in, man. These devils are mad. You took an L in South Central Los Angeles. So you said a couple of niggas got to die now. I ain't going to catch no niggas that's ready for me. But I'm going to catch a few of them slipping. But you know what? That's what you black and Hispanic get. Because just like the sister that got killed out there in the Midwest, she going to go befriend a damn clan. A damn one-eyed devil, man. The damn man got one eye. Don't you? Can't you see these damn Satan? Some one-eyed devil gonna become her friend. She gonna so damn Cyclops, damn Esau Cyclops. She gonna befriend Esau Cyclops, and a man put her ass to death, man. That's what you niggas get. The Lord is gonna galvanize you until you wake the hell up, or you gonna die. The, the so-called white man gonna put you to death, or you gonna wake up. Right, be what you got, brother. Isaiah forty-nine and five. Come on. And now, save your hour. That formed me from the womb. The Lord chose us from the womb. That's another. That's another clue in the scripture. We can do an entire lesson on this. You can't stop the word of the Most High. Right. The Lord formed His servants from the womb. Right. Come on. To be His servant. To do what? To be His, his servant. See that? You, that's what you didn't remember. The Lord got servants walking around the earth, and it's nothing you can do about it. Once it's of the Most High, you can't stop it. That's right, right. Come on. To bring Jacob again to him. What is our job? To bring Jacob, Jacob again to him. What are we out here for? To, to bring, bring Jacob, Jacob again, again to him. him. And that's what you see. That's why you see all these brothers and sisters out here. You see fringes, borders of blue. You right. see right. sisters dressed in modesty. Come here, Shua. Come here, Shua. Come here, Shua. Come Because the Most High is bringing Jacob again to him. Come. Read again from the top. God. Isaiah 49, verse 5. Go ahead. And now, say if you have that formed me from the womb. The Lord said he formed, I just like the prophet Isaiah and the brothers that's back here on the earth today to prophesy this word, he formed you from the womb. There's nothing you could do to stop God's program. All right, come on. To be his servant. To do what? To be his servant. You got a question, sis? Yeah. All right, well, no, when you get this, well, let me finish this. All right, come on. To bring Jacob again to him. What is our job? To, to bring, bring Jacob, Jacob again, again to him. him. And this is, you, you see the result right here. Right, what the hell y'all been doing, brother? I ain't been here since October. Y'all done woke up half a damn Atlanta. Right. Go! 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 Praise us to your house. Go! Go! Though Israel be not gathered. Though what? Though Israel be not gathered. Though we're not fully gathered as a nation as of yet. Come on. Yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of your house. Right, because we doing the work. We, we bringing about the great awakening and the gathering. 
Like, come on. And my power shall be my strength. And the Lord is our strength. Once the most high is behind it, you ain't gonna do a damn thing to stop it. Like, right, what's your question, sis? Yes, I got a question. Why y'all women dressed in these outfits? Say it again. Why they dressed in these outfits? Give me first Timothy's two and nine. It's All right, and somebody give me wow. <laughs> Well, listen, I, I, don't mean, I don't mean no disrespect, right? But you got some tight spandex on. Now, there's nowhere in hell you're not going to tell me it's not too hot for those. There's nowhere you're not going to tell me it's not too hot for, them, for some damn tight spandex. But listen, listen, the sisters are loose. They're cool. Right. Right, not to get graphic, but do you know you women, y'all have a cavity in between y'all legs that needs to breathe. All that tight spandex and jeans, that's no good for you. So no way in hell, sis, and especially if you had those on all day. No way in hell you're not gonna tell me it's not too damn hot. Bring that out, bro. Right, so now you gotta understand, it's nothing wrong with minus the power. It's not too hot for that. Right, the sisters are not complaining. They're fun. They look beautiful. Yes, they that's look right. nice. That's I'm gonna hit you with something. When a woman dresses Ooh. according to the laws of God, it brings her inner beauty out. That's you right. You understand? Bro. She's all covered up. Right. She's all covered up, but guess what? It brings out her inner beauty. Because now you're not looking at the shape of her behind. Now you're not looking at her breasts. Bring you're looking at her in her modest apparel, and you're appreciating the beauty of her being covered up. That's that's right. America and society and slavery and ignorance and no disrespect to you, and stupidity is what yeah. taught our women, uh, use what you got to get what you want. If right. you got it, girl, flaunt it. Oh, why are you gonna dress like that? You look all old. Let uh, you, let what you, show what you got, baby. No, so the sisters, that they don't they don't look to y'all, they look like that to y'all because y'all mind frame is of this world. Uh, so to them, y'all look off, but guess what? To us, we know y'all off. That's right. right. Like God, brother, read, read. First Timothy 2 verse 9 come on. In like manner also In like manner also Come on That women adorn themselves the Women are supposed to adorn or dress themselves Come on In modest apparel In what? Modest apparel Modest yeah, apparel Decency Right in order Right You're not supposed to walk around with some damn poom poom shorts on Right Showing the bottom of your butt cheeks Right no, uh, Boxy Riders, Davy Dukes, whatever the, the hell they call them. The Boxy Rider them. Right, you're not supposed to walk around with that. God. You're not supposed to walk around with no tight standards. God. Right, and no God. disrespect to you, sister, but I'm going to give it to you wrong. Right, come on. With shamefacedness. With what? Shamefacedness. Women are supposed to be humble. Women are supposed to be modest in order. Don't you Don't you know the way you look? Somebody give me that in Syrac 19 and 29. A, a man may be known by his look. All right. Don't you know the way even clothing carry a vibration? If I see cleavage and a mini skirt or Daisy Dukes and a butt showing, I'm thinking about behind and breasts. That's what I'm thinking about. But if I see a sister dressed in minus of power, you know what? Before I even say hi to her, I know I'm gonna have to be respectful. I know I'm gonna have to be like, good evening, sis, how you doing? I can't talk to her like I talk to the Uchi mama with everything hanging out. Uh, so we're out here to teach our women the proper order. And guess what? Give us a little time. We'll have you looking like them out here. Uh, we'll have you in order like that. Yes, and you won't be saying this as hot. You'll be reading these scriptures and say, I'm dressed like a woman of the most high. Yes, uh, right. So give us some time. We'll work on you and we'll have you looking just like that. Right, good, right, good, right. Looking like a queen, looking like a princess, yeah. right? No spandex, long dresses and skirts. Right, right we're gonna get rid of them spandex. Bring it up. Right, them spandex are going out. Right, we're gonna get rid of them and we're gonna get you in a minor supply. Right, God, brother Reed. And sobriety. And what? Sobriety. Good. Oh, Not with braided hair or gold or pearls. Or costly array. So Paul was teaching the women, it's not so much about the outward appearance. There's nothing wrong with looking nice, taking care of yourself, keeping yourself up. All right, but he was letting them know it's not all about the outward appearance. It's about the inner woman of the most high. And that starts with modesty and humility. Right, like, come on. But which becometh women God. professing godliness. The Lord said which becometh women professing God. Look at that. Come on, you know what I'm saying? We got sisters out here trying to be men. She looked like a damn construction worker. Like she just got off the, the, the construction site and sipping a beer. Like, come on, that's not how women are supposed to look, sis. Like, come on. With good works. With what? Good works. And good works, right? The main thing a woman should have is humility and submission under her man. Are you married? All right, do you know that your, your man, when you do get a husband, he's your head? Yeah. You accept that? Okay, okay, you got half the battle. Yeah, right. You got half the battle. Right, go ahead, give me that inside back. Right. All right, 19, verse 29. A man may be known by his look. The Bible says somebody might be known by the way they
they look. You understand? And likewise, if if you see a sister dressed like this as opposed to the hoochie mama, the twerk chick, the thot, all right, the chick that's up in the Atlanta strip club, right, or the chick that's trying to be a man, a diked out chick, who are you more likely, be honest, who are you more likely to respect? A woman dressed in modest right? right? Go ahead. And one that have understanding. One that have understanding, come on. By his countenance. By his countenance. You see these men out here, man? Strong men, their beards, they dressed up in their garments, their fringes. You can see these are men of wisdom. These are men not to play with. These are men that's not going, going to sugarcoat the word of the most high. They're going to give it to you wrong. And they're going to give it to you with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's right. They're not going to give it to you that's like right. the pastor. Bring it out. They're not going to give it to you like the, the, the five out of preacher on the corner. Bring it out. They're going to give it to you, thus saith the Lord, with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's right. right. Come on. When thou meetest him. When you meet a person, a lot of times, what do they call it? First impressions. Now, you can make a wrong impression, but most of the time, you can size somebody right up. Especially if you're in the spirit. I do it all the time. You understand? And I always say, well, Lord, if I'm misjudging a person, then show me that. But I don't I done size them up in five minutes. You understand? So a person may be known by their look. Right, come on. A man's attire and excessive laughter. The Lord said a man's attire and excessive laughter. Not only a man, but a woman also. If you see a woman dressed a certain way, you're not going to see women like this in the club. Nah. They're not there because why? To the men, they're going to be corny, boring, college. What's up, baby? Show some skin. But you know, you know when Friday and Saturday night comes, you see the women that's going to the club. You already know. Because they're dressed a certain way because they want to go and get that kind of attention. So we teach our women to be modest. You understand? Because that's the laws of the most high. First and foremost, whatever the Lord say, that's what we say. As the men, we gotta follow the Lord. So we keep our women in order to the best of our ability. Right, come on. Show what he is. The Lord say, show what he is. Your attire can show what you are. That's right, right, you can see, you can, you know a damn faggot when you see him. That's right. Because right? right? he's trying to look like a woman. That's or he right. looking feminine. Out. Or he walking around in men clothing, but he got lipstick on. Right. Come on, he up. walking around in men clothing, but he got a blonde wig on. Mm -hmm. You see that now. You see all kinds of abomination now, especially down here in Atlanta. Yeah. Or he's walking, he's got, he's look like a regular man, and he got regular clothes on, but then when you see his actions, they're effeminate. Right. So the Bible says a man or a woman, man is masculine, but even a woman, they may be known by their look. So this is the proper way to dress, sister. You understand? Come on. That is every proof that is comely. All right, that, that's it on that. So the Bible is letting us know there's proper order. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Get the law. The book Deuteronomy of Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Get book of Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman yeah, shall not know. wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What did Lord say? The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto yeah, a man. man. Now, the Bible says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth for be easy, Esau. Come on. Right. The Lord said, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Right? What pertains to a man? Pants. Pants are known as breeches. All right? What up, Dan? You good? Yeah, done. Done, done. You're done, done. You good, Dan? Yeah. All right, but anyway, uh, anyway. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, death wish. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. Okay. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Go ahead. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. A man shall not put on a woman's garment. That's right. Right? How do you know the difference between a men and a women's bathroom? Huh? Say it again. Nah, there you go. Yo, you see, we're going to get you up out of them leggings. That's right. right. We're going to get you out of them leggings. Right? And we're going to get you in modest apparel. Wow. All right, read it again, brother. The book of Deuteronomy, uh, chapter 22, verse 5. Uh, the woman shall not wear that 
which pertains to a man. So, uh, what pertains to a man? Give me Leviticus 16 and 4. Right, right, right. right read that. Leviticus 16 and 4. Hold that, my brother Brian. Yeah. The book right. of Leviticus, chapter 16 and 4. Come on. Right. He shall put on the holy linen coat. Go ahead. And he shall have the linen breeches. The what? Breeches. The breeches. linen breeches. Breeches was known as pants. Salakia was known as breeches in the ancient time. Or what they used to call gauchos, like pants that come down past your knee. But those were for men. They were not for women. Right, read it again. Leviticus 16, verse 4. He shall put on the holy linen coat. No, she shall. He shall put on the holy linen coat. No, her shall. He. He. <laughs> he shall put on the holy linen coat. Come on. And he shall have the linen breeches. He shall have the linen breeches, the pants. Right, come on. Upon his Flesh. Upon her flesh. His, his flesh. flesh. Upon she flesh. His, his flesh. flesh. His flesh. Breaches, which was known even uh, in the earlier part of this country. Well, Some breaches. older Negroes were called pants breeches. All right, God, breeches. Right, come on. And shall be girded with a linen girdle. So these were with a, with a priest. They were supposed to be girded with a linen girdle. All right, I got like a small girdle on around my garment here because we had to have a girdle around our garments. Right, come on. And with the linen meat tree. So my point being, this was the dress code for the men, not the women. So what, what what did you initially say? How did you say the women look? The look? You said, why they dress like that? They look what? We're we not going to get mad at you. Go ahead. They don't look like the rest of Atlanta. Right. 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 They don't look like the rest of the women in Atlanta. Right. Right. There's no disrespect to our system, but y'all gotta be taught. You understand? Society has broke y'all in. Yeah. Right. Right. Slavery, right. the Willie Lynch uh, uh, letter. All these things, all these conspiracies by the so-called white man to destroy our people and our women. When, when did, yes, listen, prior to the 1970s, women wasn't really wearing pants. Right. Prior to the 1960s and 50s, women wasn't wearing pants, but that Marilyn Monroe, mm. right? <laughs> Marilyn Monroe, that Marilyn Monroe, remember they had the famous image of her with the short skirt, right. and then the wind blew and the skirt came up. Right. Around the 50s and 60s, they started to toy with skirts, and they had a few women throwing on pants. You got some old images of white women throwing on uh, farmer pants, and throwing on suspenders and jumpers, like in the 50s and 60s. There you go. Come on, Eve. There you go. There you go. There you go. And brothers, don't be trying to holler. Right. Thirsty. Don't be trying to holler. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm going to I'm I'm get her to repent. Right. right. I'm going to get her to repent. I'm going to teach her. I'm going to teach her. I'm going to teach her. Hold up. I, I got some scriptures for her. Why does the Bible? You know what I'm saying? Right? But anyway. But, but anyway. Right? 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 No, it's not no campus. Listen, look at these sisters out here. They dealing with it. They not hot. How is that no campus hot? What if they got a husband at home? And they probably told her husband, I'm going out tonight. Right. He sat there, all right, baby. You know what I'm saying? Nah, no, no, no. See, there we go. See, there we go. Come on, sis. You got to come up. <laughs> Don't give me that. Give God and the Bible that. I'm okay. asking, come on, sister. Come on. You see? You see what we're talking about? Come on. Okay. Are you married, sister? I'm sorry. Let me talk. Hold on, hold on. Are you, are you married? It's okay to talk. I'm going to let you talk, but it's answering that okay. question. You're not married? I'm but, single. You single? I'm no mother. Uh, you're not a mother? All right. I'm but not, go ahead. Go ahead and talk. God, yes, you are. Yes, you are. I, I no, yes, you are. I can see your breasts. <laughs> I can see your breasts. I'm a woman. I respect myself. How I dress is not just me. It's an expression of how I felt. So don't limit me to my clothing. I'm a woman, a business woman. I value myself. I don't speak for much. I'm not a woman. So don't think just because you're visual, I'm not mental. I'm Hold not on. All right, can I say something to you now? I love the Lord. My Hold up, come here. Let me say something to you though. Is that enough? Honey? Hold up, no, I, I didn't say enough. I didn't even start. Because look. I didn't even start on you yet. Well, let's start. Right, don't tell me I said enough. I ain't even start on you yet. Let's start, sir. Now. Let's, show, let's see what because God I said. Will be the because display. I'm going to let God because talk Because if God didn't want me to dress like this, I'm why the fuck did he let, let me put it on? I'm going to let God talk let to you. Let him talk to me, baby. Because ain't nothing wrong, God. Right, 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 I'm going right, I'm I'm to let God like talk to you. I'm but no, listen, I'm no listen. offense. I would love to be on public display. Listen. Because I'm sick of women being devalued yeah. because of how Nobody's they Nobody's devalued. These women out here are okay. worth 100% okay. and more. That's fine. And you're worth 100%. Hold up. They're all worth 
Exactly. You're they worth 100% and more. That way, when you cover them. yourself up right? and dress properly, right? read what you if got, a bro. Woman is Proverbs 14, she verse 12. Right? Right? There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. Yeah, she said, I'm a business woman. I do this, I do that, I'm good. But the Lord don't approve of the way you're dressed. Very different. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man. Lord said, there's a way that seemeth right unto a man or a woman. Go ahead. But the end thereof. Are the ways of death. So your nakedness is not supposed to be seen. Nobody's supposed to be looking at your breasts. That's what you call right. 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 Nobody's supposed to be looking at your breasts. Okay. So so you got to go home and dress like these sisters, change your whole wardrobe, and get in order. That's a commandment sisters. of the Lord. But that's them. a commandment I of the Lord. Lord. My grandma is a Muslim. But they it don't matter. Muslim. Get rid of it again. Proverbs that is the way. Just your because the way listen, they're dressed does not make them a, them a wisdom, fucking woman. A Muslim they is not the way of truth. You, you see, you see what you see with your spirit conjured up. Queen. You see that? You see what your spirit conjured up. Read it again, brother. Proverbs 14, verse 12. God, but all I am there, is a box. There is a way that seemeth right. Hold on, hold on. Can I ask you a question that don't get offended? You promise you don't get offended? I'm never offended. All right, are you straight? Yes. You sure? Are you, you, you like you mine? Straight? I'm you straight. Like I'm straight. I'm straight more than you know. Oh, that's right. right. I'm, I'm beyond straight. That's right. But anyway, well, are, you straight, are you straight? But it's none of my business. Are you straight? Though? At the end of the day, God has a hand in heaven to put me in right. Go ahead, so hell. She tried to find a hope for a second. Yes, there is. Give me a second. This is hell. This is hell. She tried to find a hope for her sin. That's what you make it. That's what you make it. That's what you make it. God gave you three eyes. Everybody do what they want to do. Most women not going to do that. They're going to go through the wide gate. Right? Come on. That leadeth 
to destruction. To what? To destruction. The Lord said it leads to destruction. Come on, bring it home. And many and there what? be. Many. And many, many and most. Right? Those are two similar words. It said many there be, come on. Which go in their ass. So most right. women not going to put it on, and most many women not going to go through the straight gate. That's you know right. what's going to happen to them? They're going to perish, man. That's right. They're going to perish because they won't go through the straight gate. Be like, second Ezra's eight, verse one, and it has to be saved. Right, the Most High has made this world for many. The Bible says the Most High made this world for many. God, but the world to come, but the world to come. Go ahead, for a few. See that? So many gonna perish. That's, That's right. most women not gonna put that on, cause most women are gonna perish. That's right. You understand? They're not gonna repent and come back to the law, statutes, and, the, and commandments of the Most High. Give me uh, Isaiah ten and twenty. Isaiah ten and twenty. So we trying to get you home, sis. What's your name? What's your name? Ebony. Ebony. What's your nationality? Uh, black, African American. African American. Ebony, you from the tribe of Judah, the nation right. of Israel, and we trying to get you home. Yeah, you I gotta saw, come on I home. Saw y'all on YouTube. Huh? Following y'all on YouTube. You following us on YouTube? Yeah. So why are you coming up here talking about they not gonna wear that? Because that's because no, this right here is not. That's not. Nobody can walk around in that. Huh? Nobody can walk around in that. Listen, you know what? Now you just hold up. You just said nobody can walk around in that. But you see many women walking around in that. But the head cup, do you have to have your head covered? Yes, that's that's in the scripture. We can show you all that. We can show you all that, right? What I'm going for? Long sleeves. Yeah, I said, get Isaiah 10 and 20. Hold on. Isaiah 10, verse 20. Read it. Isaiah 10, verse 20. Read it. And they shall come to pass. Come on. In that day that the remnant of Israel. The remnant of Israel. Come on. And such as are escaped. Of the house of Jacob. And such that escaped the house of Jacob. Come on. Shall no more again stay upon him that smoke thee. You're not going to stay upon him that smoke thee. God. But shall stay upon the Lord, the God. Holy One of Israel. Come on. In truth. God. The remnant shall return. No. The, how many? The remnant. See that? You said many. Most. But the Lord said it's only going to be a remnant. That's right. So we're not out here for most of the people. We only out here for one third. That's right. And that's why you see from the from the elder sister, the elder mother that rolled up, she got her long minus of power. That's right. To the down to the young, down to the younger women, they got their minus of power. You see that? Why? Because that's the law of the Most High. That's, that's what we're supposed to follow. You understand that? So you following us on YouTube, it's time for you to Watch repent, Sister Ebony. That's right. And come on home and get yourself right. That's right. All right, we're going to bring you to class and feast days and everything. And you're going to get it in order. And you're going to get your, your long dresses and skirts on, your fringes, your head covered. Okay, what Give about, he he what about heels All right. and stuff like that? Say it again. Heels and stilettos, you know, just regular well, stuff. Why you want to wear stilettos and heels? Now, why you want to do that to your feet? Why you want to go and bring do that to your feet? And see, stilettos and heels, there's, there's no particular law against them, but... When you go into a lot of that, that's attire of fast women, right? Not necessarily, you understand? But a lot of times, that comes with other type of dressing that women put on to go along with that style of dressing. So the Lord said, abstain from all appearance of evil. You understand? So you have clothing that you can wear where you can appear modest and humble and in the spirit. You don't have to wear certain clothing so you can be judged a certain way, even if you're not that way. You understand? Right, go ahead. The remnant shall return. The remnant shall return. Come on. Even the remnant of Jacob. So you, what you said is right. The remnant is going to return. You understand? Most of our people, they're not going to follow the law, statute, and commandment to the whole side. So you said, most women not going to put that on because the Lord is only calling a remnant. He's only calling one third of Israel. So when we come out here, we know and we understand that everybody's not going to accept this gospel. Right. Everybody's not going to accept this truth. Right. We know everybody's not going to come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments. Out, right? Most of these people are going to die. Yeah. You, know? you understand? Most of these people, they're going to perish because they're wicked and they evil. And they don't want to return to the laws of the most high. Right. Right. So do you want to be like everybody else? Or do you want to follow the law? You want to come to the straight game? Follow the law. Right? That's right. All right, there you go. There ain't nothing else to talk about then. There's nothing else to talk about. Right? Right or wrong? Right. right. But... Now do y'all party? Do y'all have fun?
fun? Do y'all go Second. out? Like, do y'all party? Have fun? Why go out? Why do you got to be about a party? Huh? Why is I mean, y'all do be about for party? fun? I mean... Now, give me fresh y'all too, 15. Y'all oh, get that party spirit from this world. <laughs> That's what it is. Everything got to be a party. And I'm going to you something. We do party, but in righteousness. Yes. Right. We party on the feast days. We have gatherings and different things. Good. As long as it's not breaking the laws of the Most High and it's not on the Shabbat. You understand? So y'all don't go have, to movies and have, huh? yeah, Y'all don't go see movies and like no, outings? No, see, that's see, see, this is what was You see, I see, you know what it is? You know what it is? Y'all, y'all think because we holding a Bible, we just don't do nothing. We got to see. No, we are the liveliest people on the planet. Right. right. You understand? Yes, we go see movies. And guess what? When we go watch the movies, we break them down according to Bible prophecy. That's right. right. Because Hollywood knows the truth, and they put a lot of truth in their movies. Right. The last movie I saw was The First Purge, up, and man. I dissected it piece by piece. Right. Thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Lord. And now they're starting The First Purge. Right. Because they're killing minorities all over different states in America. Right. Right. You understand? So, yes. You see, I think y'all going to miss out on some fun. If y'all come in the truth, give me first John 215. But that's the problem. Y'all think y'all gonna miss out? I can't do nothing. I can't go nowhere. First John 2 and 15, me. God, in the book of first John, chapter 2, verse 15. Go ahead. Love, love not the world. What do I say? Love not, not the world. world. What do I say? Love, love not, not the world. world. Love not the world. Come on. Right. Neither the things that are in the world. Neither the things that are in this world. Come on. If any man love the world, what do I say? If any man love the world. You know what? Y'all get that party spirit and we can't have no fun. Give me a. Uh, She's dead that living for pleasure. You you get that party and fun spirit because you're of this world. That's the way the world wants you to think. Right, do you know you gotta stop celebrating the holidays of this society? Yeah. I, I know that I know that one is gonna get you. No, because I saw one of y'all in the thing when I was coming back from the 4th of July Congress Center celebration. Uh -huh. And y'all, against one of them, one of y'all was like, no, you're not supposed to be going to this. And I'm yes, like, exactly. Exactly. do y'all do anything? Yes, we do. I mean, we, got, we got a whole book. Are we going to show you that? See what you got, brother. See, Israel just want to have fun, man. That's all this real want to do is have some fun. See what you got, brother. 1 John 2, 15. Go ahead. Love not the world. The Bible says love not the world. Not the world, go ahead. Neither the things that are in the world. Neither the things that are in this world. That party and have fun spirit, that's of the world. Now you can have fun and righteousness according to the laws of the most high. But you gotta keep everything in order. You gotta keep things in perspective. Is a is a balance and a limit. Now the type of fun that you have have to be in righteousness. We have fun when we do our feast days. We play music, righteous and spiritual music. And dance. You know what I'm saying? We drink in moderation. We eat, we fellowship, we laugh, but we keep it in order. Right? You understand? We're not a, we're not a, a people that saw us stuck and can't do nothing and sniff it. No. We can have fun, but in righteousness. You That's understand? right. Go ahead. If any man love the world, Go ahead. the love of the Father is not right. in him. The Lord said, if any man love the world, huh. the love of the Father is not in him. So you can do things in this world. I, I took my children out to see the Incredibles, and I said, you know what? They showed that the white man's the devil in this damn cartoon movie. They had the little baby at Satan. You understand? Yeah, the, the baby was uh, uh, setting people on fire, having images of hell and everything. So, but, but I let my children know that's a movie, but here's the breakdown. Here's how you understand. It's, it, it's, it's entertainment, but you gotta, you gotta dissect it and see what they're saying.